Hello and good evening, everyone out there. So today, our guide will be on how to set up a computer system for blockchain technology or blockchain system. I believe this is a new area with a lot of hypotheses, a lot of theories, a lot of uh, you know misconception, as well as fiction. The essence of this guide is to explain to you the process on how you can set up your computer for this blockchain technology, as well as is this blockchain technology something worth of doing or not. Similarly, this guide will provide you with the skills on how you can set up your computer to be able to get ready for blockchain business. When we dive into the slide, we'll learn what is blockchain, how do we set up our computer for blockchain, as well as dependencies that need to be installed on our computer to install or to get ready for the blockchain business. Similarly, before we key into that, I would like to tell a story around this cryptocurrency. In 2014, I and my friend, when we were in school, he called me, we need to put money in this cryptocurrency. It's a business that is bringing a lot of money. I say, ah, you are just making noise. Explain to me how it works. He says, if you didn't believe me, give me 100,000 Naira output. And after a week, I'm going to give you back 200,000 or 150,000. And don't forget then, during those days, there are a lot of issues around scamming Nigerians. There are other systems that people will say, put 100,000 after a week, it will become 200,000. Put these, it will be triples. You have to buy this. So... I am not a victim of such kind of issues that happen, but I have a lot of people around me who have gotten themselves into that. Some even, I have stories, some lost their life because it is their life saving. They put it in the system and, you know, they got bankrupt. But this blockchain or oh, this cryptocurrency is quite different with that. Like I've said earlier, there are a lot of misconceptions around this area. So I tell you, my friend put money and he got profit out of it. If my friend and I have continued doing that, we have become millionaires by now. Because 2014, when you put 100,000 Naira, I bet you you have around 1 point something uh, Bitcoin. Similarly, as a guide or as part of what this guide will help you to do is setting up your computer to be able to have your own blockchain. To have your own blockchain. That means you will be able to have your own blockchain ledger that can be key into other people's globally. Get into the slide we need to understand what is blockchain. In a layman language, when you're talking about blockchain, just look at global network, global interconnections of computers, global interconnection of many devices for the aim and objectives to make transactions, send and receive money, buy goods and services. It means this blockchain is a kind of a giant network, big network that got its capacity from traditional network. I'm going to show you how traditional network is, how your computer, how your mobile device is connected. I'll have, I have a slide on that and I'll share with you. Or oh, if you are thinking of blockchain, Think of this simple explanation. Think of a massive computer that interconnects other computers. 
for the purpose of sending and receiving money using a specialized program or using a specialized software that is developed for that aim. Think of a large database, very large database, that people store transactions on it, people store information. Unlike traditional databases that are used by companies, which is controlled within that company, but this time around, this database, it is controlled by a lot. You don't have control over it alone. This guy doesn't have control. It is a global control. It's a kind of giant computer that I have a key, you have a key, this has a key. Let's look at traditional network. I believe a lot of experience issues these days, uh, some days back, where you try to make a call, the call is not going, you try to browse, the internet was not you know, good enough. What's happened there? Copy this link and put it in your browser. When you copy this link and put it on your brother, you'll have this. This is the map of the wall. Look at it. This is the wall. When you look at it, you see that there are kind of cables connected everywhere. It means MTN, Etisalat, all the internet service providers we have in Nigeria, they rely on these interconnections of cables. It means if I'm here in Nigeria, for me to be able to communicate with people in Togo, in Ghana, in Benin, there must be a cable which is called submarine cable that will run from Nigeria off until it got to Benin. If I want to communicate with people from Nigeria, I want to communicate to people around Brazil, there must be a network cables that will cross and get to Brazil. It means the issue we had recently for MTN not giving us service, Etisalat and other service providers, it was because the East Africa and uh, West Africa were having issues. The submarine cable was cut off and the technical teams were struggling to fix it. That means when you are talking of blockchain, first of all, you have to have this underlying network in place. The network I'm using to call, the network I'm using to browse before you talk of blockchain technology. So this is how you are getting network. If any of these cables cut off, we cut off these cables in Nigeria, nobody will be able to communicate. But we have one other way, which is through satellite. But most of the service provider, they are providing you internet access and voice via the submarine cable. Getting back to another one is satellites. I believe a lot has heard about this uh, Tesla, which uh, they call it Starlink, their network, which is based on satellites. These are satellites network around the globe. Look at it everywhere. So it means this Tesla network, they are operating based on satellites. So when you're talking of blockchain also, the blockchain hub to the blockchain technology hub to either connect via this network to connect with other computer around the world or connect using the submarine cable. If you want to explore more to learn about how the world is structured, to look at it, use Google Earth, copy the link, open up your browser and paste it. So, if you open your brother, this is the wall. This is the wall map. Okay. Now, if I want to search for Bayes University, let me type in Bayes University. Okay, I have a history here. So, I will click that. And you can see, this is the location of Bayes University in three-dimensional picture. The structure. 
and this map is updated after four four days by Google's. After every four days, Google's do update the Google map or the Google Earth. So as you can see, you can as well be able to move around, look at areas, look at other locations. So take your time and study this. So I want you to have the good understanding of network connectivity. Moving to the next items, we talk of this blockchain that is a global network. That means as long as blockchain is a global network, of independent transactional system that I can have, you can have, company can have, it means I need to first of all have my own blockchain. When I have my blockchain, then I can key it to the public blockchain, the blockchain. So I have one of my blockchain here, then I need to now bring my blockchain here. So when it comes to technology, when it comes to the transactions, it means I have my blockchain here, somebody have his own, and other people have their own. These blockchains will be all interconnected together with a returns. We call them a public ledger or public blockchain. When you have this, it means transaction is not like traditional method of banking system where your money is centralized in bank. When the bank has a problem, you have a problem. In terms of this, no, it's not like that. It means as long as you develop that your blockchain and you key it into the public blockchain, it serves like a macro service. When you said a macro service, it means, uh, take examples. Have you had any experience whereby you try to log into Google's or you try to watch YouTube video and they tell you that YouTube is not available because the service is an independent service. When this service is down, others are working. So when it comes to blockchain technology, it means you bring all you bring block of blockchain technology from different countries, from different individuals, and you mesh them together and they become a public financial institution whereby you can send, receive money, buy goods and services. That is why I had a lot of debate. People were debating that uh, we're not going to allow blockchain. It is going to destroy our business. No, it's a misconception. Blockchain is not like that. So blockchain has a nature or a structure of decentralization. Unlike the traditional banking system, like I mentioned, which, is, which everything is centralized in the bank or is centralized within the organization. But blockchain is decentralized, meaning it is scattered across the world. I can have my blockchain, you can have yours, this guy can have his own, we can have multiple nodes across the world. Now let's discuss about the philosophy around blockchain. So we mentioned earlier that this blockchain is an independent a kind of network or a business account or we can call it a ledger. Now if it's an independent computer or a system, how can we add it up with others? Like I mentioned earlier, I have my own, you have your own, you bring them together. So it means we have two ways to be able to operate within the rhymes of blockchain. Number one is either to create our own blockchain nodes or we now leverage on someone who have created his own blockchain. That means you either have your own blockchain where you can have customers, you can have people who will use it or you will leverage upon the existing blockchain that have been developed by companies, by individuals. In nutshells, in summary, it means this blockchain can be able to be in place or to be created in two ways. First, you are on. Second is somebody have his own, then you leverage upon his own blockchain technology. But we have been talking about blockchain. When you talk of businesses, there must be rules, regulation, models, premocks as well as policies. So how do we trust blockchain? How do we trust blockchains? Now, blockchain has something very key, important, very good 
very good, which is called smart contract. This smart contract is more than the contract I and you sign. It's more than the agreement I and you sign. It's a contract that when you sign, you cannot go back and say, no, I don't want to sign it. It means a blockchain has something called smart contract. This is a digital contract, which is written in a computer language. Uh, the technology is called Solidity. So when you set up your blockchain, first you need to do is to what? To be able to sign that contract, which is called the smart contract. When you do it, the smart contract will be the one to handle all the business transactions. You don't have to do anything. It's there. So you do it, the smart contract, get your blockchain into the marketplace, and you start to get money, and you start to transact, receive, and send money. So that means consumption of saying that we cannot trust uh, blockchain. It's not there because you have something that even you as owner, you don't have control over it as long as you're done. Or like bank. Bank can say, oh, I've changed this and nothing you can do. We had a lot of stories where in the bank you see uh, inside job people with technical know-how uh, trying to withdraw customers' money from their account, not in blockchain. To understand this more clear, let's look at structure behind, the process behind smart contract. Now, this is a blockchain where you have globals, chains of people who develop their own blockchains, and here you have the smart contract, here you have buyers, here you have sellers. If I am a buyer, I come to the marketplace, first I have to request whatsoever I want via the smart contract. So the smart contract will be the one to do the deals, the business. If I am buying, he will go to the seller and say, okay, this guy wants to buy this in so-so amount. It will now go in terms of cryptocurrency. It could be Ethereum or any other blockchain. When it goes there, the seller, as long as, as long as you sell it, you don't have control over it again the smart contract you develop has become the ownership of the buyer. So this is the structure of it. Moving to the next part is the blockchain application. How blockchain's application are developed? Now, before we go that, I would like to explain the traditional mobile application. Let's take example of you have a banking account, you have an account in a bank, and you want to transact. The mobile application you install on your application, I mean on your phone, on your mobile device is called agent, user agent. It means it is the mechanism, it is the machine that can text you to your bank and be able to withdraw the money by transfer, by paying for services, electricity bills, DSTB this, recharging your mobile device. That means this kind of transactions is two-way. Your mobile application and the banking server. That means you have your mobile app, the bank has provided with a mechanism. Instead of you coming to the bank, or like before, whereby if you want to make a withdrawal, you have to come to the bank, collect all the necessary documents for you to fill in order to withdraw money or make a transfer. But now bank has developed this system, has progressed to the level of using a system, technology. So you have your mobile application, you have the bank. So that means it's two-way communication. But in blockchain, it's not like that. In blockchain, like we mentioned earlier, the transaction have to pass through that global chain. That means it's decentralized instead of centralized in one company or one organization. So instead of having just a server, as well as the, uh, the, 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 the mobile application, no, this time around is decentralized. The next part is how can we set up our computer system for this blockchain? We want to have our own. Earlier I mentioned that blockchain is in two ways. Either you have your own blockchain or you leverage open the existing blockchain that is developed by someone and then you key into it and then you do transactions. So how do you set up this? To set up a blockchain, 
and develop your own application for transactions, you need to follow this. Although there are other methods that are quite different from this, but this is the mostly used approach, mostly used methodology in developing, in setting up a computer for developing a blockchain application. First, you need to have a Node.js application installed on your computer. And what is this Node.js? Now, this Node.js is kind of a machine, an engine, that allow you to install all those requirements, all those dependencies that will enable you to have a blockchain application on your computer system or on your server. You can read more about it, but first of all, copy the link and open your browser. Okay. This is the official website of the Node.js, so download it and install it. I already have one installed, so click on download. You should be able to have it downloaded on your computer. Follow the process. It's self-explanatory and install it. After that, the next is to install Ganache or Ganache. This Ganache is recommended when you are developing an Ethereum blockchain technology. So it means when you install this on your computer, your computer is turning to be what? A public blockchain environment, allowing you to deploy smart contracts, to build your application, do all sorts of transactions. And you can install it on a uh, Windows computer that has Windows operating system, like computer like HP, uh, Lenovo, Dell and others, and you can install it on Mac book computers. Okay, so copy the link, open up your browser, and inst so you see, download it automatically. The system is detecting the type of operating system I have, which is a Windows operating system. So download it and install on your computer. I already have downloaded it and installed. So when you click on download, the process is smooth and clear. No difficulty in installing. So let me open my own Ganache so that you can see the view. Ganache. Okay. It's opening. So when you open it for the first time after installation, this is what you have which means you need to create a workspace. You need to create that public blockchain environment. So I will click on Ganache based on Ethereum. It's now providing the environment. This is it. So I now have my own blockchain environment based on Ethereum. So which means I can buy sells blockchain locally within my computer. But after you become expert, you develop your application or making transactions, you can be able to create the smart contract and connect with the public blockchains. And you're good to go. Other people can be able to key into your own blockchain. Okay? As you can see, you have blocks. Okay? I only have one block. Okay? You can create more. Transactions, I haven't done any transactions. Smart contracts, I don't have any smart contract. Event, logs, and others. So install it on your computer and also go to the official website and read the documentation around it. So after this, the next things we need to do is to install something called Triple Framework. This Triple Framework is a kind of technology that assists you to create the Ethereum smart contract. You've seen when I open the, when I open, I don't have any contract. So which means I need to use this, I need to, I need to uh, install Triple, Triple's framework for me to be able to develop a smart contract. So uh, this can be installed using a command prompt. I believe, and I know a lot were new, uh, but take it easy, there's nothing difficult on it. If you have Windows computer, all you need to do is just type in command. You see a command prompt, okay? Open it. When you open it, copy this 
line starting from MPN. Okay, when you copy it, paste it, and run install, or hit enter on your keyboard, already I've installed it, so the process will not take longer. Okay? Done. So I have installed this. So the next line is to install Metamax. Now, what is Metamax? Uh, Metamax is kind of a bridge. It's kind of a middleman between the blockchain or the public blockchain, the wall of blockchain, and your computer. Because normally, your browser cannot be able to access the public blockchain. It means you need a support. You need a machine that can be able to support your computer to get that. So copy this link. Open up your browser, paste, paste it, and here you have it. So you need to click on Add to Chrome. Sorry, I forgot to mention, I will recommend Google Chrome for this. If you have any other browser, please, for the sake of this process, install Google Chrome on your computer. That will make it smooth and easier, okay? So click on Add Chrome. When you click on Add to Chrome, Add Extension, Okay, you see it has downloaded, so click on it. Okay, it still is adding. Okay, you see it has opened. So, trust me, this is very sweet. So, we need to create our own blockchain wallet based on Web3. So, to do this, we need to accept the agreement create new wallet okay read all the instruction <clears throat> okay agree and create a strong password please don't create uh, a password that can be understood or even crammed by you i recommend you create a password dictionary Maybe under the video description, I'll provide with some recommended password dictionaries that you can be able to use for this. So I'm going to create a strong password. Please, whenever you are creating a password on your own without any password generator application, make sure the password is combination of characters number as well as you know some hash key that helps your password to be protected i can tell you this most of the people that were hacked is because they don't have strong password when you have a strong password hackers only get access to your computer even broad post attack or access to your account if you don't if they don't have the password if they don't have your password in their dictionary they will do it get tired and leave you alone. Okay, I will accept and create wallet. You can watch the video on guideline about wallet security and others. So select this, secure my wallet, okay. For the purpose of this guideline, I'm gonna, like I said earlier, you need to create, you need to have a password manager where you can store your password, okay? Because the password needs to be very complicated, very, very complicated, okay? You must make the password very complicated. So there are security keys here, which by default, I'm not supposed to show you this, but because it's a tutorials that need to guide you on how to create, set up your computer, I'm going to rebuild this key. So click on this. So you have this key. The key I will have is different from what you have. But mind you, this key shouldn't be displayed like this. Okay. So I'm going to screen grab it. I have sniffing tools on my computer. So I will grab it like this and save it somewhere safe. Because they are going to ask me some of the key to confirm that it is me. So click next, you can see, K 
key phrase, four is missing, eight and three. So my key phrase, four is uh, grief, okay. Key for three is simple. Key for uh, phrase eight is uh, war pair. War pair. Okay. Confirm. Voila. Now we have a wallet. So, got it. Go next. Done. So here you go. You have your it, you have your Ethereum's wallet where you can buy, sell, sweep, uh, swap, breeze, spot police, and other. So you can be able to do this. But don't forget, we are still using our local blockchain. We have been key into the global market. It is when we key into it, that is when we can be able to buy and sell. If you click on buy, definitely it is going to take you to the marketplace, which right now we are not yet ready for that. So you can follow all the process, all the protocols, and you can even connect to their existing wallet. We already have a wallet, so we can connect to our existing wallet. And now we are fully connected to our existing wallet. Already our wallet is attached to our browser. Okay. Select your country, your location, and all that, okay? So take your time and explore this. This is how you can be able to create your own wallet, okay? So getting back to the next process is after we have done all this, what is the next line? What is the next process? It is the process of Developing the mobile application, developing the application for the blockchain, which I mentioned earlier, you have to learn solidity for you to be able to do this. Throughout this course, you will be guided on how you can be able to develop this, which means if you have some big money in your pocket, in your account safe, after this program, you can key it into your blockchain and then connect it with the public blockchain and you start to be, make big money. Don't forget, for you to make big money, you need to have big money on ground. So to wrap up, blockchain is something that the world is every day going very forward with speed to accept it. A lot of country has accepted it making transactions i believe even nigeria there are some other companies that you can work with and they accept that so it means you have to upskill yourself you have to reskill yourself you have to get new skill the global market is moving towards this a lot of young people has made it through this why not i and you move into this, get into it. Not what a lot of Nigerians are doing. Like I've said, 90% of people who are into this system buying cryptocurrency and selling, they are buying from existing blockchain nodes. So this is time for you Nigerians, for me to be able to learn this very well, get investors, put money, and make big money. What is next? The next is during the lectures, during the, uh, this program, you will be able to learn fully how to do this and be able to scale it up by yourself. Don't be scared. This is, a uh, this is a new technology that is changing the world. Even the banking sectors are up, accepting it. A lot of bankings, a lot of banks are accepting it. Learn. Learn and learn. Learn and learn and learn. Thank you very much for watching. Description to this video will be linked to this slide as well as other relevant materials that can support you. Thank you and bye for now.